Good morning, YouTube. We got us a big tractor trailer rollover. This one is really bad because the trailer is fully compromised. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, those totes are done for, man. That's hazmat, isn't it? Yeah. Usually, this stuff is like chemical stuff. Is that glue? No, he says, what is it? Like something cooking related. Cooking related. It looks like sports or something. Like some sort of vegetable. You want me to taste it? No, yeah, please. go for it. Okay, man. As you know, this trailer is done. We gotta empty it out. So how are we gonna? Are you gonna are Very easy. Gonna do, well, once my the rest of my equipment gets here, we're obviously gonna need yeah. the trans closed. Yeah. Okay. Not not yet. Though. Let's right let now. all these people out first. So yeah. well, so you. Because uh, my truck's gonna have to park right there. So we're gonna have to gap. Yeah. All right. There's hey, no other way to do. The, yeah, the rotator's here. We're waiting on the other one. My uh, other heavy stuck in this one right here. He'll be coming up shortly. I don't know. Hey, we have to shut down the ramp because we're yeah. going to all this. I know. <laughs> I told you that. Did you? The heavy is right here on uh, entering from Crossroads. Okay. But you said bumper's jammed. Traffic's jammed. Yeah, so it's going to be a so that's what this traffic is for, man. All the rubberneckers. You saw that lady. He said he's already coming up. He's right. He's right here in the oh, traffic. Mind, he's right here. Yeah, my heavy's here. He's here. So yeah, we're gonna go shut it that, down. Well, once he gets here, Unless we we can shut it here. down. You're the driver, sir. Yeah. How much is the weight? Forty-one around. Forty-one thousand. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have to cut that seal. Okay. It's already. I'm gonna do that for you because we're gonna have to empty it. So let me give you guys a game plan. We can upright containers all day, every day, no matter how bad they are. A lot of trailers like you've seen in my recent videos, same. We upright them, no problem. Let me just sneak in here. This is why we can't upright this. All the integrity of the roof is completely gone. Yeah, this one's bad, sir. Is this the only one leaking? Uh, I think so. Uh, the rest still look like they're full. I'll do a check because so far, I think you're right. <clears throat> and it's like cooking oil? It looks yeah. like some syrup. Well, we have a yard right here. Right here? Really locally, off the 60 and Nogales. Do you know what it would be called? Toyn. Let me give you a business card, sir. Okay. Where, are they, where is this going, though? Where, where, where was your ultimate delivery? Portland. Oh, Portland? Yeah, Portland, Oregon. Oregon. It's a bit far from here. I just picked up. An approximation, what do you think about shutting down the ramp? Approximation, bro, that way I can tell my boss. I want to aim for no more than three hours at three worst hours case. Three hours at least? Okay. That's Four. with the land off forklift yeah, and the crew. Worst case scenario, three hours? Let's go for three hours. Okay, sounds good. Appreciate it. <clears throat> so like I was mentioning, this in integrity of the trailer is fully compromised. Uprighting this is impossible, even with their bags. You still have to pre-pick it. Doing all that would be twice as long and then emptying it out. Bro, I'm gonna cut open the seal. Use the rotator to open the doors. That way when the telehandler gets here, he can empty out the whole trailer like that. We've done these in the past with forklifts. Save this right here, put in my truck. We've done them with forklifts and they're a pain. The forklifts, they just spin inside. These totes are heavy. The telehandler is absolutely king for these jobs. So it's simple. I'm gonna be seeing zero weight on this. Pretty much using my boom off the side will only lift up the door. Put on a nice show for all these folks right here. Yeah, that's what's cool about this. We keep this transition completely open. 
We keep the 60 westbound, all lanes completely open. I use the rotator to do everything from the, the shoulder right here. I saw blood on the front windshield, but that's the driver you've seen talking to, uh... He's right there. <laughs> the driver's perfectly fine. You never tell, he just rolled over. So to lift up the door is so easy. I'm gonna use one of my, uh... VA car recovery chains. It's 5 sixteenths and it'll fit right behind that bar. This. Perfect. Close it back. I stepped in that freaking stuff, man. Awesome, man. Let me open up this one and I'll walk in there. Yeah. Stand clear. Yeah. yeah, there's a label right here. Is it called the poop? Ah. Fruitaloose. Fruitaloose, yeah, it's like a corn syrup thing. Hello. It's like a fructose. <laughs> I got the label, it's called Fruitaloose. Like, it. sounds like you're saying Fruit Loops with an accent. Fruitaloose. Yeah. Fruitaloose. Park up ahead, sir. Beautiful timing, man. I love how we're always very, I guess, efficient with time management, as you call it. Hello. I'm gonna go check out the coach. Two G's and Spider, South LA. Beautiful car, brand new tractor. You know how I know this is from, from Spider? It looks like it got ran over by a freight train. Let me go look at the coach. Let's go, I got it open. A brand new trailer. It was a brand new trailer. I already stepped in it right here on accident, so be careful. It leaked out right here. You're gonna have to move it over. No, I know. I know. I just did this and you just got here. Look at an upside down. But that's why the telehandler's clutch. You bring them up upside down. What about the cleanup? Caltrans. Gosh, you need to put some sand right here. You need to put some sand before it goes in the thing. Here you go. So, so that's starting to spread into the lane. So we're gonna throw on some of my absorbent. Flip that toad upside down. Here you go. All right, so my. Dad had a fantastic idea. So my dad had a good idea. Sawzall works better. The trailer walls are already torn all the way down there. So to prevent this from leaking further, we're gonna upright it. Just gotta get this out of the way.
Watch out. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> Should I super duper weight take care of it? No, 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 no. That's fine right there. No, because that jagged edge is going to end up puncturing it. Yes, you figure. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Good. Boom is free. Can you put the outriggers down? I'm gonna put two. So since this is the only leaking one, we're gonna flip it now. I cut the hole out so it won't puncture coming out. And that'll prevent this from leaking any further. We'll have an easy spill for us to contain afterwards. I wanted to go here. Here. Oh, here. no, right, right, here. right, right here. here, right here. Okay. I'll go back here. I can learn a thing or two from me, you know. Yeah, and running. Oh. It helps that you have more weight than I do, Dad. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Usually when it comes to spills of this size, uh, that's Caltrans's job. It's, and it's gonna come up on its own, isn't it? But if we can help alleviate that. Even tension, even tension. Going in. It's gonna slide. It's opening up over here. Is it gonna fall from the other one? It is. Hold it, hold it, hold it there. Should I rotate it? No, no, no. I don't want it to fall. You don't want it to slam. Yeah, but if it slams out, it'll slam on the base. Because right, it it's upside it. down. Already married to it. It's going to come over a lot. Huh? Yes, it is. It might hit the truck. That's good. That's good. Woo! Beautiful job. Beautiful job. Ready? Okay. All right, leak contained. Good job. Outstanding job. I'm gonna edit you out and take credit in the video. And I confirm that's the only one leaking. Yes. One at a time. Got my hand right You can use my, my straps even for the for here. Yeah. Well this the work of the door now because Jay's not too far. <laughs> okay. 
I see one big hole right here. All up top there. In here. Come on down, son. So that door is just by a couple inches resting up against the guardrail. We're gonna use Hulk to scoot the trailer over a half a foot. and stick. That's not him, but that's one of his drivers. I want to open it up. Give me the boom. Follow it, it'll open up by itself. I had another clutch idea. The other part in the corner. It's gonna be Go. Rotate. Okay, hold it. Josh, you know RC team truck? Can you have him sign something? I do it all on tow book. Okay, let's do it in total. Take care of that first. That's more important. Then do the you, you, you. Then you do this. Yeah. Can you give me my number? So yeah, follow me to the shade. Where's your ride? That right there? Almost here. I got an Uber. You got an Uber right here? Yeah, I got a uh, drug <laughs> test done. So what do you put for the Uber? Just look for the rollover? I'm right there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me drop a pin, so. Oh that's cool. Hopefully they don't get lost. Okay, you're good to go, man. All right, thank you. Okay, that's high enough, going with the white. Now boom down, boom down. Boom down, dad. Keep going. Look at that. Very good job. Hold the He's already rolling, Dad. He's getting on the 60 West right now. Yep. From Azusa. So let me get out of the way. I'm gonna park in here. And this is the telehandler, guys. Worked out perfect because Jay got here before the closure's even here. So we'll have this thing ready. I mean, once they move the cop cars over, that means that they got the closure complete. And then this thing will just drive right onto the back of the trailer. Hey, here we came that up, over the way they gave it back to us. Good. No, I know that. They're gonna give me the green light. You see, guys, we're too quick. Wait till, wait till we 
shut it down. No, of course, of course. Okay. He's just backing up and he's gonna park right here in front of this truck. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I told him that once you move those cars and you block that, then it, it's confirmed. Yeah, once you shut it down, I'll move on. We were just getting it prepped. Cool, cool. Troll car too. So they said just chill until they get the, the closure. This unit needs a wash, but it's a workhorse. We do a lot of stolen trailer jobs. Um, it's very rampant over here. Thieves take over warehouses and they put loads in different trailers. So when one customer has like the load in a different trailer, it's mixed and match. This makes offloading trailers in their yard so much easier. That'll extend over 50 feet. Hey, it's a 53 foot or 52 foot extension. A 55. And then a whole 7,000? 12,000 at the end. 12,000 fully extended? No, no, no. It'll probably hold three, 4,000 fully extended. So a tote, it'll pick up a tote fully extended. Hey, you can't get up there and see what the DOT number is, can you? Of course I can. <laughs> I'll get up there right now. Free your mind, Neo. Who <sighs> had to just jump up to get the DOT number for the officer? Okay, he's ready to back up. I'm just gonna stand right here. I'll get it for you right now. He wants to sign for now. I know. There you go. Now back up. Mm. Right there, huh? Yeah. Now we spin it. Here. <clears throat> Good. Amazing. There, the other one can hang like that. I'll stand on this side. Good, good, good. More. Good, now have him go out just like that. Back out just like that, Jay. Back out, back out. Get it out of here. Worked out excellent. Now because these are all upside down, imagine trying to do this with the regular forklift. 
a regular baby sit down forklift getting in here slipping breaking the wall getting stuck needing to be winched out like i said i know because we've done them back in the day there's no way you can argue the efficiency of this thing How are they small? Then how much does this weigh? Well, you're not going to go all the way under? No, I'm going to uh, flip it. 60 by 60. Did we get a weight on each one about 400 pounds? Yeah, okay. I know. You see what I'm doing, right? You're going to use both? Yes. You, uh, Nice and slow. There. <clears throat> that was number one. Now we got an idea for the next, the rest. The rest should be easy. Like these on their side, they're much easier to flip. You won't need a lift and a catch. It's only like the upside down ones. Tote number two is gonna go three times as fast. We're gonna use my 3H chain, 20 footers, it's a lot easier. We'll pull from the there, from the top. It'll straighten it out. We'll put the other one on the other side. So once he brings it out, then I just lift up and it's already ready to flip. Okay, Ishmael, straighten it out. Good. Sure. Okay. 
Oh, that's perfect. I can flip it here. I know. I already found it. That's what I'm going to do, Dad. Really? Oh, the strap is You know I never fail, son. And then, give me that chain over there, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Is it? Stand clear, guys. Just pivot, I'll be pivoting. And then turn it sideways for you. But I don't do too much on the pivot, and just keep the pivot. That's our catch, go there for you. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. There you go, bring it this way, son. Okay, stand clear. Beautiful, man. Drop that side, please, son. Oh, it's fast. 45 minutes, and this whole trailer will be empty. He's ready. We just gonna dumpster right onto the trailer. We rig for the next one. So, if you guys seen this one, you've seen the next ones. I'm gonna turn off the camera and let it charge. Looking good, so just, let's go to work, son. Going to work. Josh, bring me that chain. We only need one. I like this. We pull it out with just one. Oh, we're going to one. Same thing. Okay, okay. Have it ready to go so when Ishmo gets back. Ishmo's MacGyver, by the way. We're ready to rock. This is all full of honey, huh? My dad is very impatient. He wants to work even faster. So we're using Hulk to pull this one out so when uh, he gets back with the telehandler, it's ready. Shorten the chain a lot more, make it one single loop. We'll rotate back. I'll tell me what to do. Rotate back so I can shorten the chain. That's not how we're gonna upright it. I know what I'm telling you. This is where we upright it. Alright. We'll do it your way. Oh, that's fine. You can do it over there. Nope. I'm stubborn. Why don't you do it the way we're gonna do it? Nope. Don't be stubborn. I'm just gonna end up damaging it. Just, you, you got the right idea. Put the other one over there at the bottom. Dig it up, put it in. Start from this side, so you don't touch the chains against the toe. Put it already, son? Of course. You might not need it. What's See? up, Get out of the way, Josh. From what? 
We're small. That's all. Can you get it there? Well, the first one was decent. The second one was fast. This one was lightning fast. I like this. That was the fastest one. Okay, now that you guys know the real fast plan, I'm gonna turn this off and let it charge for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So this method, I mean, check it out guys, we're down to the last Four, oh, six. It's crazy hot in here. We're pulling them out with the rotator, having them ready. MacGyver picks and takes them, loads them, comes back for the next one. Lightning fast. Good, he made it. <laughs> what was saying, uh, while we go ahead and do this part, MacGyver loads up. The totes, when he comes back, there's another one flipped and ready. <clears throat> Go! That's what I'm telling them. We're dying over here. <clears throat> All right, I'm blistering hot dying. I'm gonna take a water break. I got some in Hulk. Five left. Well, that's pretty much how we're doing the last few. That's good. <laughs> On purpose. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna go step in 33 now. Oh, 33. Come on, bro. Why are you doing it like that? All right. We're almost done, dude. There's only uh, three, three left oh, after okay. this. So fun fact, but Peppies, we have four, maybe five, but we have four trailers for jobs like these, 53 footers. So it looks like he's got about five or six on the land all. Oh yeah, there's four more. The rest will go in the trailer and then the telehandler will go in the land all. That thing's awesome for like warehouse jobs, uh, package jobs. Like if you have a trailer full of individual boxes, that is so hard to put on a land all. so efficient Josh it is she sent Alex and the Ranger to go to a 7-eleven that's what you want you want to help well we still have to uh
There, drop it. So I hope you guys enjoy this cool little segment I'm about to uh, put right now. This is from the new DJI Avada 2 drone. Avada, Avada, whatever, however you pronounce it, but it's their FPV model. You'll notice right away, it's much different from the regular drones we use, the Mavic series. It's got that cool, crazy first person view look and it does stuff that the regular drone can't, like getting into really tight spaces, crazy turns and angles. I barely got it, which means I'm still figuring out all the bells and whistles, which is why it's a tiny, tiny bit rough, but I personally think it provides such insanely cool top of the line footage, really next level stuff. So as I get to uh, learn it, I'm gonna be able to use it for some really crazy death defying stunts on these cool videos. And at this point, by the time I, I threw up the drone, Alex had taken over my spot to do the last. I think it was like three or four remaining totes when he showed up. You'll see the job was way, way, way faster than I anticipated. I told CHP no more than three hours and I was dead set on hitting that target and we beat that by a long shot. It helped that, you know, my dad is such a workhorse. He wanted to use, um, I was planning on doing the whole job with just a telehandler, but he wanted to, to expedite it, cut that fast time in half by having the telehandler load up the totes on the trailer and the land all. And while they're doing that, using the rotator to pull out the totes and flip them. So it's just straight, straight working, no breaks, you know, one after the other in one shot. And at the time we were dying and suffering in the trailer, but I mean, it worked out cool. We cleared the freeway a lot, lot faster. And one thing you'll notice is in all the videos I post, it's just everyone has like this humor to them. We all have our own personalities and we all joke a lot, a ton of inside jokes. But this is where a lot of our humor comes off as, you know, if you're a fan of the channel, you know how we are. But if you're just watching this, it probably looks like, man, those guys have a lot of beef. But no, not at all. It's just my dad's personality is so serious. He's one of those super OG old school tow guys. And they're used to like, you know, yelling and, you know, panicking and, and being super serious on these jobs. Whereas Alex or myself, we just show up and we're just so incredibly calm and collected. Like it doesn't even phase us. Now obviously my dad's the one that taught us and you know he built all of this and can do this with his eyes closed probably but that still doesn't stop him you know despite knowing way more than us from i guess uh taking these jobs too too serious and not that i and alex don't take them serious it's just he's just super laser focused on on the job at hand and the joking and stuff comes afterwards when the job is done but to his credit he did catch a lot of things that would have taken me a little longer like you know putting the absorbent on the leaking toad in the beginning right away before it spread onto the lanes because once it hit those lanes the chp would have had to shut it down they can't let the cars drive over that so that was an incredibly brilliant call to you know stop the leak and then that's syrup you know regular absorbent's not just gonna prevent it completely so the second step he did that i didn't catch was cutting out that section of the wall that was already torn open and then flipping the tote to prevent further leaking so kudos to you dad now, as for the telehandler itself, I really do think that this is what made the job go so smooth and efficient. We've only used it a couple of times on these jobs like this. It's just such a clutch item to have in the fleet compared to a regular forklift. Like I mentioned, we did one where a Coca-Cola trailer rolled over and similar method, but because of the liquid, a lot of the cans were popped in the trailer. The tires on the forklift just spin relentlessly. They don't get traction because the inside of a trailer wall on the side especially, it's not meant for that. It's smooth and then you get it wet or sticky and it's just a recipe for disaster, especially once you put weight on those forks trying to back up. So I think, you know, the experience of, of my dad on handling these tote jobs plus the telehandler all combined just made for an incredibly wicked fast job. My dad's got this thing where we like to work, you know, to no further damage and all that stuff. We get that from him obviously and working with minimal lane closure. What sucks though is despite us working super quick and saving pretty much all of the 13 pallets of the totes, uh, they ended up being destroyed. So the owner of the, the totes, they refused the load after the fact, even though they have, they said seven days before they have to be refrigerated. So on the next day or the second day, they already said, well, it flipped. We don't want no part of it. Even though I personally think it could have been salvaged, but hey, that's not my call. You know, they got insurance for that. and. That was their call to do. So I'll use this as my breakdown instead of doing my ugly mug at the end with the green screen and all that. Figure this video should be about an hour as it is. So with that, I'll just let the music take over and enjoy the FPV drone shots. Really hoping you guys that made it this far at least, let me know what you think in the comments of how cool the drone looked. Hope you guys enjoy, peace.
then the final one is the, one, the first one we took out actually. <laughs> We're gonna put it over the guardrail. MacGyver takes it away and we're done. I wasn't kidding guys. Ridiculously quick. Now we don't have to worry about tearing the trailer when uprighting it. It's going to be easy. And then Caltrans just worries about this disgusting mess. I hope you guys like that footage right now of the FPV drone I have. It's the new one from uh, DJI. I'm way, way, way wet behind the ears on knowing how to work it, so hopefully it's not too bad. Makes for some crazy unique shots. Hey boys, put your stuff, whatever you want to put. Then we're gonna need to close the door too. We'll close the doors after I put the, the rigging. So we have to close the doors first? Not gonna have to. Because you don't want to use stuff. I am. Just change the right, it's already 30. No, because that's 3 8 chain. All right, you guys do what you need to. I'll be in. I'll be positioned. <laughs> Don't put the camera. Get that camera off my. You'll be positioned inside the train, inside the cab. This Look, will be easy. You gotta get this. Our Walmart's Wait, go back food. again. This <laughs> one? <laughs> that was like that. Why just take your back in my boot? We're gonna just rig. I'm already, uh. Oh, right here, the axles. Rear axle here, landing gear there. Join them in the middle and then use my other line to catch from the rear. We'll, we'll set up quick. We are at the finale. Now, even though this is the easy part, we're gassed out. Inside of that trailer was like a sauna. A sauna on crack. No, 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 this is just to go here. I'm gonna use my 20 footers to flip it. It's empty, dude. So, one right here. Plus, Alex is gonna be controlling the tractor, so I'm gonna connect the other 20 footer there, throw it under. Go to the landing gear there, there, join him in the middle. Yeah, this this chain is good because it's light. And it's grade 10. Uh, yeah. Baby, baby, baby. Don't have to worry about hang wires, nothing. I'm gonna stand on that side and we're gonna walk forward. Instead of throwing it because it's all it's a lake under there. It's a lake of fructose syrup. Hold on, let me get this under here. No, no, no. Here. There we go. Good. Just drop it. Drop, just drop it. more connector chain I want I want that guy's job both their jobs supervisor good now we get my equalizer sling Number one, number two. Now, if you do this and join them, no matter what, one side's gonna have more tension and the other won't. So, really simple. Ta-da, the equalizer method.
Oh yeah, we're ready. You took over my dad and Dave's rotator. That's fully set. Lift off, baby. Let's do this. Oh yeah, the door. And then it's lift off, baby. Let's do this. Check, let me test it. No, nah, I don't got a short in it. Oh, I'm ready, bro. Three, two, one. Okay, keep your catch tight. Keep it tight, 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 tight. Dude, amazing. Okay, let's hold it there and get rid of your, uh, your lift, your spike. So clutch, man. It helps that that trailer is stupid empty. You know what you could do too, instead of letting out with the cable? What? Rotate this way. Hold on, hold on. All right, ready. Ready? Yeah. The conclusion, my favorite part. Well, actually, I don't know. The flip is pretty cool, too. We're gonna have to power wash all of our equipment. Amazing. All right, I'm losing my voice, so I'm gonna kill the camera while uh, we de-rig. Since the action's over and I'll get back to you guys in a few. Hulk is fully put away. Caltrans is just gonna do the cleanup of all this disgusting, super sticky stuff. Alex is hooking up the tractor. Everyone else is gone. We'll be out of here in two. Till the next one. Peace out, y'all.